Okay, so today we're going to look at we're going to look at income statement for Green Jack Limited on the thirty first of December. You will see this in your PowerPoint on Skillogy. It's question three, slide seventeen, and it gives you the trial balance of Green Jack and all the information that you'll need to um, fill in that trial balance or fill in that income statement, and then finally the statement of financial position. Okay, so let's start off. First of all, we will have sales. We're going to type that in here and because we have sales returns down here 2100 I'm going to have to put sales in the first column so, so that's 604340 and then we have less sales returns and my sales returns are 2100 And the answer that I'm going to get there, I'm just going to put a little underline underneath. So the answer that I'm going to get there is, I'm going to pop it in here to the very first column. Um, so it's going to be equals to this minus this. And that's my total there. Okay. Then I'm going to have less cost of sales. I'm just going to put that in italics so you can see it's just the heading and my less cost of sales so of course always we have opening stock and these are going to go in the middle column just because um I will be summing them up and then that'll be my total cost of sales so my opening stock is 20,520 now if you see here, I have my purchases are next, but they also have purchases returns. So purchases, and I'm going to put in less purchases returns there. And of course, we put these into the first column because I'm going to be playing around with those figures. So my purchases were three seven four one hundred, four one hundred, and then my purchases returns are two five two zero two five two zero. And again, I'm going to take them away. So I'm just going to put a little underline here. And when I take those two figures away, equals this minus this. You can do this in your calculator. I get 30, uh, 371,580. Now, if there's anything else there that I need to put in. So my carriage inwards is definitely something that I'm going to put in here. And also my customs duty. Because whatever goods I've bought, I had to pay customs duty on that to import it into the country. So it's part of my cost of sales. So I have customs duty, that's 16,800. And then I have my carriage inwards. Sorry, that figure should go over into this column here. So there's nothing I have to do with that. I have carriage inwards. And that's going to be 7,200. Now my carriage outwards will go into my ex um, expenses. So we don't worry about that for now. So then I'm going to get my total cost of sales by summing all of those up. So again, I'm just going to put a little underline here. And if I sum all of those up, equals sum. I'm just going to sum all of those. You can pop them into your calculator. And I'm going to get 416,100. And then my last heading for this section is gross profit. And that's going to be, so I'm going to just, again, put a little line underneath here so you know it's that we um, are going to do something with these two figures. And what I'm going to do with these two figures, I'm going to take them away. So it's equals this minus 416100, and I get 186140. 